you hear this a lot. You know, you say this a lot on, on The Profit. You always talk about the three most important aspects of any business. Um, I, I'd love for you to elaborate on it, but also just speak of what, how did that originate? Was, just that, was that just through your experience? You could distill it down to really three key things? I always philosophically knew that the people mattered and the process of how you run your business mattered and the product mattered. But I'll, I'll take an extra minute and sort of break it down for people. When I talk about people, process, and product, it's really quite simple. And I wanted to dumb it down for educational purposes so that people can hear it and see it and swallow it in a way that's digestible. But the layman's version of it is you can't be in a business and sell a product or a service that people don't need or can't relate to. And the silliest example would be if I told you that I was going to open up a company and sell a track cassettes. I'm going to have an amazing supply chain process. My people are spectacular. We have a great, uh, a great system inside of our business. Process is refined. Our marketing is great. But the reality of it is, is that people don't want A-tracks. So the product has to be relevant. It has to be market competitive. And it has to be something that people actually want today and tomorrow. On the process side, it really is simple as how do you take a relevant product or service? And I can use legal services as an example. How do you take that service and deliver it to the consumer in a way that they're not intimidated by it, the way that they understand it, and the way that they'll accept it, adopt it, embrace it, and engage? And ultimately, you know, we all think about the practice of law or the practice of medicine. And as consumers, we want to know that we're going to be able to understand it financially and understand what we want out of it and how it's going to be delivered to us. Okay, so we've gotten through the process and the product, and that's sort of the easy part. The hard part for me was always trying to explain to people how people, the, the people that actually run the business, the people that actually transact with the company, the vendors that support the business, and, or the guy or the gal that owns it, ultimately determine if the product or the process get executed or not. And if I liken it to something very simple like a lemonade stand, we all know what a lemonade stand looks like and we all know what lemonade tastes like. But if we don't engage with the person selling the lemonade and we don't buy off on why we're buying it from them, and we don't have a relationship with them and they don't engage with us in a way that's understandable and not intimidating, we won't buy their lemonade. And so it's funny because this is the first time that I've actually thought about applying my three P's to the legal field. And some people would say, look, a lawyer um, has a bad rap, which I think they do. They're delivering a protective service to the community. I want to be clear with what I mean by that. A protective service, not a housekeeping service or a car mechanic service or a doctor service, but a protective service that's ultimately going to advance my business or advance my family, one of the two. And I need to understand how to deliver that in a way. And I always wanted to be a lawyer. In fact, in the summer between uh, my high school years, I worked at a law firm in downtown Miami. I worked in the mailroom. And I remember people saying to me, you know, you're wasting your time working in the mailroom. And I learned early on that I was understanding how the, the, the entity uh, operated and I understood how the personalities interacted and I got a chance to see all these different people. And as years went on, I started doing more. For me, the best job I ever had, no BS, was working in the law firm to understand how this firm represented families and businesses that were in crisis, that were in growth mode, that were in dispute, that needed to protect an idea that they had. And that ultimately gave me the gateway to how to framework things as I move forward in business. Most people are intimidated by lawyers. Sometimes I am too, I guess, you know, especially when they chase me and they, they want to, you know, pursue things from me. But in most cases, I see them as assets and resources. And, uh, and that's why the people side of things matter, because if you, if you have a relationship with somebody that's more than transactional, it ultimately works.